What's up, school fans? Back with me, Rocky Padilla, and welcome to the first episode of Trash Talk in 2024. And with me, probably one of the most talked about players in the IVL right now, from Ron Simba Bogor, Devon Pan Ustrom. Nice to see you, man. Nice to see you, man. Thank you for your time, man. Anytime. And happy birthday. Thank you. <laughs> 31. How was your first birthday experience in Indonesia, man? Oh, it's been a great week. Mm -hmm. It's been a great week. Uh, yeah. 2 0. Can't Two? complain, right? But, um,. Just happy to be here. Happy to be here. Happy to be here. Uh, of course, the first question I gotta ask you: uh, you, you, are a little bit unusual uh, because usually the the kids in UK they play football mm -hmm. and you choose basketball. I just want to know, like, who inspired you to start playing basketball, and when did you decide to pursue this dream as a basketball player? I mean, we I, I come from a basketball family, so mm -hmm. my dad used to play, and my older so my older brother started mm -hmm. when he was seven, and when he started, I started. Okay. So it kind of, but I also played football, so I grew up playing football and basketball. I just I was a lot better at basketball, <laughs> so I just I went along with basketball. Okay. Before we move on. Uh, who's your favorite football team? My favorite football Newcastle United. Newcastle, wow. Newcastle. But before they had the money. <laughs> before they had the money. Before Hold on. Alan Shearer, Alan Bobby Shearer. Robson. Oh, Les, Ferd Les, Les Ferdinand. Exactly. Okay. Exactly. David Ginola. Yep, exactly. Oh, wow. Yeah, you see? Oh, yeah. That, that's not a bad team, though. And of course, I want to check this one, this question with you because I heard some rumors when you're 14, when you're 15. Real Madrid actually was looking at you. Is that true? Oh, I had tryouts all across all across Spain. Oh, okay. So all across Spain, and then in the end, I decided to go with uh, Basconia. Oh, Basconia. Okay, yeah. Because some some coaches from Europe told me, oh, that that kid used to be really good, man. Yeah. You know, when he's 14, Real Madrid was looking at him. So it is true then. Yeah. yeah. Okay, that's nice. And uh, Devin, everybody's curious. Uh, how did you get to Indonesia? I don't know how Ron Simba Bogor Norman was able to find you. Um, can you share a little bit about? Uh, the first contact with Norman, did he email you? Did he DM you? Well, the first, so the first, com the first uh, person to reach out was Anthony. Oh, Anthony, okay. Uh, I don't know how they mm -hmm. found out I was Indonesian. Mm -hmm. uh, I think it took a lot of people by surprise that oh. I had Indonesian blood. Um, but yeah, he reached out to me on Instagram, mm -hmm. and then he reached out to my agent, and then we kind of got the ball rolling because we had to prove Obviously, we had to prove that I was yeah. Indonesian, so they had to meet the family, they had to kind of get uh, birth certificates and stuff, which, which is a lot of hard work. Wow. Um, and credit to them, they, they managed, to, managed to do it, managed to do it pretty quickly. Yeah. And here I am. Wow. And you're a grandma, right? My uh, grandma. My grandma. Java? Java? From West Java. Oh, West Java. Wow. West Java. Okay. And what made you decide to finally come to Indonesia, though, to play in the IBL? Um, what did you see from this opportunity? Well. I, I always had love for Indonesia, yeah. so I came here four years ago, I went to Bali and I'm, with it, I'm very aware and my family is very aware that our kind of family comes from Indonesia. Mm -hmm. um, so I was always very intrigued on coming to Indonesia mm -hmm. in general, just not basketball related. And then when the opportunity came to do it with basketball, I thought, yeah. Why not, right? Why not? <laughs> why not? Why not? Yeah, it is a good st situation as well for yeah. you. But I was able to watch uh, Ron's during the preseason. Uh, during those games, I feel like the ball movement wasn't there, uh, the chemistry wasn't there yet, and the local players were not really involved uh, on the offense. But now in the first two games, you guys are playing really well, you guys playing together and won bo both games. Uh, what, what were the turning points for you guys? I mean, it's, I think it, for, for most teams, right? Preseason is a yeah. learning curve. It's not, you don't overreact to results and you don't, uh, yeah, you, it's not, it's not necessarily about the results, right? Mm. It's about growing as a team. And I think even during preseason, right, we, we lost big against Satya Muda, and I think we lost against Borneo at the start. But we got better every game, and it's carried over to the season. And that's what the preseason's for, right? The preseason's not for winning. It's, it's to grow as a team, and I think it's aligned perfectly. That is true. That is true, though, about the preseason. And, of course, in the win against Satya Muda, you guys were up 82-81. You got the ball. Um, I thought you got to take it all the way to the basket, but you ended up kicking it out to Oki, and Oki made that bank shot. Can you just walk us through that play? Um, <laughs> I knew we were up one. Mm -hmm. I knew we were up one. I was, I was tempted to shoot the three, because mm -hmm. then it would be a four-point game, right? Mm -hmm. So then, then it would be the game. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I just, I just went left because, you know, two guys were on the right, so I thought, mm -hmm. all right, let me go left and see what happens. And I thought, instead of 
shooting a runner. I let me hit it to Oki. And Oki made a great play. Made a great play. <laughs> I was surprised though. He made that. I, I wonder if he called bang though. He did call bang. He did. Oh, he did. Yeah, for sure, for sure. I'll vouch for him. I'll vouch for him. All right. All right. All right, if you say so. All right. And of course, uh, 21 assists through two games. I know you probably be mad at Jerome and Daniel. <laughs> Missing a couple of easy layups. I'm not saying anything. I'm not saying okay. anything. I'm not saying you anything. have 15 in that game. <laughs> I'm just saying, but um, is that your mindset though? To uh, going to every game like to get at least 10 assists? Uh, not really. I mean, mm -hmm. I I like to. I do like to pass the ball, and mm -hmm. I do think that is the best skill that I have. Mm -hmm. uh, and I, I feel like passing is contagious, right? So you know you. The more you pass, mm -hmm. the more people are going to start running on the break, the harder people are going to roll, people are going to be ready to catch the shooting three, right? So I think it just uh, it ignites the team in a way. Um, and I think everybody's reacting pretty well to it. Yeah, they, they are, man. They got easy basket. And a couple of times, right. just like right here already, they got an easy layup. But guys, if you haven't seen his highlights <laughs> in Europe, oh my God, all the new look passes. I mean, like we saw that also in the IBL. But I was just wondering, because you kind of remind me of Jason Williams, the white chopper. I grew up watching Jason Williams. Yeah, oh, you that's did? One, that's one of my favorite players growing up. Okay, yeah. that's why I yeah. thought. So, so yeah. you did get a lot of inspiration from Jason Williams then? Yeah, I mean, the, mm. my, my era of point guards was Jason Williams, uh, Jason Kidd. It was mm. kind of, you know, Steve Nash. Yeah. It was all like the past first, past first guys. Yeah, because all your Nula passes are so similar to Jason Williams. Oh, yeah. Even the way you move to. I love Jay Will's game. Yeah. Oh my God, I love Jay Will too though. And of course, you are the floor general for Runs uh, Simba Bogor. How much communication you have with Coach Wahyu? And you give him a lot of feedback as well? Yeah, I think we, we bounce well off each other. We, we talk about ideas. Um, and like I said, over the, over the preseason, uh, you know, we struggled at the beginning and kind of through talking, through communicating, through sharing ideas, we've we found a balance of, you know, getting everybody involved. Because like you said, we were a little bit static at the beginning. Um, and now, now it looks like the ball flowing and, and everybody's involved. And now as we are talking, you can see all the young players putting in the work. Just how active are you, you know, helping the young players uh, right now? Well, first of all, I think we, like we have the, we've been blessed with these facilities. Uh -huh. we, can, we can shoot whenever we want, we can use the gym whenever we want. So the first thing I said, look, we've got to take advantage of this, right? We, we're blessed already to, you know, this is, we do this as a living. Yeah. We enjoy it. We enjoy this every day. Come in and shoot. It's next to our house. <laughs> yeah. Literally two minute walk. Um, but yeah, it's good to see all the young guys shooting and, uh, and improving and working and, on their game. And how impressed are you with Argus in the first game? Oh, I'm very happy. Argus, <laughs> yeah. I understand like uh, it's... Sometimes I throw very questionable, pa questionable <laughs> passes and he catches everything. He catches oh, wow. everything. He catches <laughs> everything. He's got great hands. Yeah. Uh, I just tell him to shoot more. When you get the ball inside, yeah. shoot. But he's uh, he's definitely been one of the yeah. one of my favorite surprises so far. Hey, he's very skinny too now. Yeah, and you guys it. are all very skinny. Yeah. You guys run a lot. Because <laughs> it's, it's so hot here. It's so <laughs> hot. We sweat so much. <laughs> I thought you guys run suicide a lot here. Oh, we did run a lot in the preseason. <laughs> we did run a lot in the preseason. And I just heard about the story that you are very competitive with the chess game. Oh, for sure, yes. <laughs> You don't like to lose, huh? No. No. I heard, like, you came, like, Norman beat you twice. <laughs> oh, we're going to have this on the interview. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. I'm so sorry about that, but... Oh, my God. Are you, are, are you still looking forward to the rematch, though? He's not going to win again. He is not going to win again. I don't know how he won, though. I don't know how he escaped it, but no, no, it's not going to happen again. It's not going to happen again. <laughs> okay. We're going to leave the chess game alone, but I know you just played, like, two games right now. Uh, in the idea, but I would just like to know, do you see this as a long-term, uh, like, do you planning to stay long-term here in the IBL? Um, I mean, mm -hmm. so far, I love it here. Mm -hmm. So far, everything's been, been very welcoming, been very, uh, mm -hmm. it's been very enjoyable. And I like the, you know, last year you had one foreigner yes. on the court at the same time. Now you can, you can have two, maybe three, if you have the, the heritage, right? So it looks like, the league is very different to last year, um, and I would love to be kind of a part of the the growth of the league. I think, uh, yeah, I'm, I'm happy here. I'm happy here. If, if it's 
If I have this feeling, yeah. I would stay here for as long as I could. Oh man, everybody's gonna be so excited because everybody loves how you play. Everybody just cannot stop talking about you this weekend. And yeah, we would love to have you for a long time here, man. And of course, the next question, this is from the fans though, not from me. The fans would like to know, we know that you play in Eurobasket uh, with the UK national team, yeah. but we don't know the rules, right? So we like to know like, is it possible though still for you to play for our national team? I, I don't think so. I don't, I don't know if there's a way around it, but mm -hmm. um, I think the, the rule is it, once you've played for the men's, mm -hmm. you cannot switch teams. And I don't know if there's been any exceptions. Mm. And it's not that I've played one game with England. Uh, you know, I played three Eurobaskets. Yeah. So I've, I've had kind of a whole 12-year career with them. So it would be, I don't know how plausible it would, how plausible it would be. Um, but if I could, I would. If I could, I would. If I could, I would. I'm not just saying that. If yeah. I could, I really, I would love to represent Indonesia. Yeah, that would be nice. Man. We just need to hear that. <laughs> and somebody gonna, someone that watching this video gonna make it happen. Hopefully, someone's gonna find the loophole. Yeah, yeah. hopefully. Of course, uh, since the arrival of you in the IBL, everybody trying to find information about you and your family. Uh, your brother, is it Sam? Sam. Sam. Uh, everybody talking about him. Uh, he's, they, I think he's a point guard too, right? He yeah, he's a point guard too, but he, he's, a, he's a little bit bigger than me. He's 198, mm -hmm. so he plays like a one, two, three. He can he can really mix up positions. Are any IBL players already like trying to get him, or the national team trying to get him? I think he said uh, a lot of people have been. In contact. <laughs> um, but, Are you excited uh, for him if he get the chance to come here? I mean, it's it's, it's going to be up to him, right? I, I don't want to I don't want to speak on his behalf, mm -hmm. but. Um, when he when he asked me about it, I I give him a lot of positive feedback, and uh, I think he's very intrigued, for sure. And last but not least, hopefully he want to answer this one. Are you looking forward for that Dewa rematch? Because <laughs> I know there's a video online. <laughs> you trash talking, and then somebody looked back a little bit. <laughs> so are you looking for that rematch? <laughs> I mean, it's, it's definitely on the calendar. I mean, okay. Dewa is, is one of the top teams yeah. in the league, right? Um, and Solano is also a top point guard, so you look forward to those matchups. But, um, but yeah, I'm looking forward to it. For sure. <laughs> <laughs> who, who wouldn't be? Who wouldn't be? I, I know, that's going to be a fun matchup. Yeah, right? It's going to be a yeah. fun battle between you and Solano. We're looking forward to that. Because uh, you guys are probably the top guards right now in the IBL. But so far, yeah, so far, what do you think about the competition, though, the IBL overall? Uh, so far, I mean, from the teams I've seen, it's yeah, it looks good. It looks good. Um, I think Dewa's kind of separate, separated themselves. I think Sat even though we beat Satria yeah. Muda, I still think, you know, uh, those are the, the top teams that we're trying to emulate, trying to, trying to chase. Um, but overall, I've been, uh, I've been pleasantly surprised. But Devon, appreciate you, appreciate man. It, man. Thank, thank you so man. much. Thank hey, you. guys, don't forget to support Devon and the Run Simba Bogor in IBL this season. Stay healthy, please. Thank you. Yeah, now, uh, we're looking forward to more highlights. All right, guys, that's all for the video. Thank you so much for watching. We'll see you guys next time. Peace out, everybody. Bye. Ciao.